Hello everyone out there, I am Wintergrave now giving you an update for this mod, the Megalud mod. Uh, for personal reasons I had to disappear from online life for a long time and uh, I'm sorry about that but now I am back here and I can bring you an update to this mod. One of the more frequently requested features is to remove, um, is to be able to disable the hover ability on the jetpacks. And uh, it is the first thing I'm going to quickly do while I work on uh, on the rest of the things. Uh, first, let me show you how this works. Uh, so I have a jetpack with, I have a chest plate with the jetpack uh, ability to hover and has the speed and, and all of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the game. So let's, let's get out of the screen now and close the game. There we go. And I have a config file here where you can enable or disable any effect of any weapon or tool or armor here. So I'm going to quickly open the config file for the mega loot. And uh, you can set there's a couple of sections, the effect active section and the effect spawn section. These are uh, a little bit different. So uh, if we want to disable the effect, the jetpack effect, we're going to go to the effect active section and search for jetpack. So we're going to change this to false as well. we can see on this row here, jetpack active is false now. So I'm going to save the configuration file and launch the game again. So I'm going to launch the game and uh, run it. And now the game is loading with the new configuration. There we go. I'm going to fix the screen a little bit. Okay, that I didn't want to do that. Um, now I, you can see I have the um, the chest plate with the jetpack still because I got the chest plate before I disabled the option, but now the jetpack doesn't work anymore. We have disabled the jetpack in the configuration. Even if I have a jetpack on, it's not going to work and it's going to be normally. I, I'm, I'm able to jump and uh, fall uh, as as just as normally, but it keeps all the other properties. So that's one of the um, features. The other one is if I close the game again and we go to the config, we can also disable the, sp the spawning of uh, every effect. So I have a spawn, the in the section effect spawn, I can look for the jetpack here and we change this to false. I'm going to save the configuration and launch the game again. Okay, now uh, the jetpack effect is disabled, but also I'm going to change my game mode to creative. And uh, I'm going to open uh, a lot of uh, cases. The Now, since I disabled the spawn, I'm not going to get a jetpack uh, chest plate anymore from any of the loot I am opening, no matter how no matter how many chest, chest plates I am uh, getting, I'm not going to get another one with jetpack. Doesn't have a jetpack. This one doesn't have a jetpack. No, no jetpack. And also, I'm just going to to drop a bunch of things here. Just to clear a little bit of inventory. And also, no matter uh, how many upgrades I apply, if I go here to the manipulator and I put the chest plate, I have some here. If I apply upgrades, I'm not I'm not able to get a jetpack ability anymore. We have disabled the spawn and the activity of that effect and it works for any effect, for withering, it works for uh, speed, it works for any effect you want to disable the spawn or uh, e either being active or not. Uh, so that is the first quick thing uh, I am doing. I'm going to keep reading comments and uh, do whatever I can so I can complete uh, as much things as I can for 1.12, then port the mod to 1.13 and finally 1.14 so we can have it updated. Uh, once we are in 
I'm not going to keep updating the mod for 1.12 because that's how it works. We always go to the newest version. And then I'm going to keep reviewing every other project I have because I am so behind in stuff and I have to get uh, working on all that. So thank you everyone. Uh, thanks for your patience and sorry for being absent. Uh, uh, that's going to be all for today. Goodbye.